So you have a prompt and it's a pretty flowery, flowery prompt here. We have uh, a lot of words and we're not 100% sure whether we need all of these words. And obviously in mid journey, you, there's no real limit to how many tokens you can have, but it, it can, I think, add a lot of noise to the image if you're pushing the model in too many different directions. And not maybe not all of these tokens are necessary. You could be getting random results or like unusual results because you're including a lot of things that aren't really contributing a lot but adding noise okay so um, i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to say shorten and this is a technique that i haven't actually seen that many people use but it is pretty amazing so if you just hit enter i don't i haven't seen any other uh, model that has this maybe it'd be possible to build for stable diffusion but what it does is it chooses what are the important tokens and it tells you here which ones are important. So graffiti style mural is really important. So clever is more important than sly. That's interesting. And then dash end, it doesn't need dog. Showcasing Banksy. And then it's stencil, it doesn't need technique, right? It doesn't need set against. It just needs brick and background. It actually knows because it is the model, <laughs> it can give you the attention uh, that's paid to each token and uh, make a subjective decision about what should be included in the prompt. And then it gives you this pretty cool thing here, which is it, it just slowly just narrows it down, deletes words. Then this is just deleting all the unnecessary words and then cuts more and more away until literally if you just put in like mural, dash and Banksy brick, then you would get something pretty good even though you haven't used all of these tokens. So this is just an interesting concept. One thing I do a lot is I will use this feature and then copy the prompt across to Stable Diffusion. I know that's not quite exactly transferable, but it is useful to know at least in general, like what types of words are triggering for this type of model. All right, the other thing you can do is you can click on one of these and it will run the, that prompt. But there's one more little thing I wanna show you, which is show details. And this is really exciting because it gives you the numbers, right? It actually gives you the numbers. You can see there's a little chart here. The dash end is very important, Banksy and the mural, but then it was like showcasing is not as important. So that's how it makes these decisions. And you can look and say, so I thought the word subtly, for example, would be important, but it's 0 0.01 in terms of attention paid to that token. So yeah, really not worth it. The other thing is it tells you a little bit how things are split up. So saying and social, so that is interesting because I've used the word stencil art technique and social commentary. Like I thought that it would split. So it's like a stencil art technique and then social commentary would be separate, but it's actually paired and social together. So I might be getting unusual results because of that. Right? So it's, it's really important to know that and to think about that when you're uh, starting to split these prompts up and putting them into different sections. There's just really good intelligence. All right, so just out of interest, let's run number five and see what we get back and hit submit. And let's see if we get like a similar image, even though we've drastically shortened the prompt. While this is running, I just want to say as well, one thing this teaches me is just that it is not like a LLM, right? When you're prompting for images, it doesn't understand like the words necessarily. It's just grabbing uh, the individual tokens more than anything. You might not actually be like using natural language to describe things like I did here where I said and social commentary or a contrasted urban brick. You could literally just list words, I think, and get similar results. Here we go. We actually got some pretty cool results here although it did get a little bit messed up here. And that's pretty amazing though, when you think we went from all these words down to just four keywords, that's still a pretty amazing result.